Well, schools reopening this fall is still up in the air as many student athletes are advocating for a reopening, not just for academics, but for lessons they learn from playing sports. Joining us on the phone to discuss the importance of high school sports is Scripps Ranch head football coach and the creator of LetFamiliesDecide.org, Marlon Gard Gardnera. Coach Gardnera, good morning. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you doing? Well, I, I'm very appreciative that you're uh, making time for us. So let's start the conversation with LetFamiliesDecide.org. What is it? It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we want to make sure parents' voices are heard. Uh, if schools reopen, and currently that's still the plan, and we certainly recognize that things are changing, things are evolving, and we're not taking a position on whether or not schools should open at all. But if they do reopen, we want to let families decide if their children can return to high school sports. Uh, no one can determine better what's in the best interest of their children's physical and mental well-being uh, than parents and families. And there are some tough decisions out there. And while we know our administrators have our children's best interest in mind, uh, I think I'm best equipped if my child can go to school to decide if he also can get the amazing lessons that sports teach uh, when he gets there. What kind of so feedback are you getting, Coach? Uh, it has been overwhelming. We've signed up a few thousand people over the weekend. Uh, today, we're really going to go after it and make sure uh, we reach as many of the almost 820,000 student athletes throughout the state of California uh, with our message. So they too know there's some big decisions coming. There's some big meetings. Uh, actually, a week from today, CIF will sit down and decide uh, whether or not we should continue with fall sports. And we're just proposing if we return to school. Uh, we'd like the families to be the decision makers on whether they want to take the risk and assume the responsibility for their kids getting back on the field. Yeah, we've been all over the liability issue. You know the argument that there's... Uh there is a feeling, at least from the administrators or administration's point of view, that kids could, inf while they may not be at risk from COVID-19, the risk of transmission, which is debatable, Coach, but we're not going to go there. You know the argument that teachers could become sick. How do you answer that as a coach who might might get infected by his player? Well, you, you know, if you know me, you know I'm immunosuppressed from an organ transplant 11 years ago. So I suppose I'm one of the vulnerable population, but I'm also a father. I've got two sons, a 16 year old going to be a senior at Scripps Ranch High School and an incoming freshman. Uh, and while I have to weigh the risk to myself, I also have to weigh their well-being uh, and their normalcy if we can get it. And with the risk being lower for children, uh, again, I, I, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, I'm not in position to decide if the school opens itself. But I really want to be able to decide if my son is there, what they do when they get there. But to those teachers out there, I stand with our teachers. I stand with our school district in making the really tough decision about whether or not kids are in school. I'm just in that unique position. When they get there, what do we do with them? How much of the, the normal experience do they get to have? Uh, but I don't want to, to be part of it being more risky for example, for teachers, which is why we're not even advocating for parents to make a decision one way or another. That ultimately is up to the parents. What we're ad advocating for is before the administrators sit down and make a decision, they factor in the fact that we want to be there. And I think the best example of that, the school districts asked us as parents if we want our kids to return to the classroom. And I can tell you, uh, just as an example, my school, Scripps Ranch High School, 94.7% of the parents at that time said they want their children back in the classroom, either full or part-time. So we're really piggybacking the idea that if we're going to be in school, there are some other tough decisions that need to be made, and we want to make sure we get to make that. Oh. Probably the easiest way to say it is, if I were an administrator, it would be a tough decision for me to decide if someone else's kid could be back on the field. As a parent, it's an entirely different decision, and I think that decision should be left up to me. Coach, we have video of your guys practicing. There, we're waiting on the CIF on the 20th. What are you getting word on? What's the CIF going to say? You know, CIF has to listen to the state. They've got to listen to state health, state health experts. Uh, there are a lot of people up ahead of them in line to help decide what happens. I know they're all very optimistic about the idea of getting back on the field because they, too, understand the impact of high school sports on our student athletes. Uh, so the, the sense that I get is that our commissioners would love to have the option open to us. And we want to get ahead of that and make sure the option isn't eliminated uh, at this time. Uh, let's wait and find out if schools reopen. And if they do, uh, you know, take that tough decision 
from administrators and, and give it back to the families. Fair enough. And Coach Boy, as we wrap this up, your thoughts about Luke Durkin. I know you couldn't be there Friday, but uh, your quarterback is going to Davidson. I'm sure you're proud as punch. Listen, uh, you know, a lot of football coaches coach football for the love of football. I do it for the love of developing young men who, you know, we can use football to do incredible, incredible things. And Luke is one of those examples of just an amazing young man buying in, doing the hard work, being disciplined, being committed, dealing with adversity, uh, growing up and to see uh, that culminate in an opportunity to play at the next level and, and to have some assistance with school. Uh, you know, that's that's why that's why I do it. There's no question about that. So I couldn't be prouder of Luke. And, you know, our entire team is, is focused on school first. So I expect to see a lot of young men follow Luke's example because he's been a great leader uh, and, and have that same level of success on or off the field as a result of the lessons they learned while they were playing football. Marlon, LetParentsDecide.org. LetParentsDecide.org. Thank you for your time, and we will probably be checking back in in the not-so-distant future. Yes, I hope so. I, there's nothing like being on PPR on Friday nights. All right. Marlon Gardnera from Scripps Ranch, head coach there, who uh, has the kids, puts the kids first. All right. County